mass, weight, and normal force. Mass is the measure of the inertia of an object, the resistance of an object to accelerate. In the SI system, mass is measured in kilograms. Mass is not weight. Mass is a property of an object. It doesn't depend on where the object is located. Weight is the force exerted on that object by gravity. If you go to the moon, whose gravitational acceleration is about one-sixth of g, you will weigh one-sixth as much as you weigh on Earth. Your mass, however, will be the same. And here's a nice video that will also help explain this concept. Weight is the force exerted on an object by gravity. Close to the surface of the Earth, where the gravitational force is nearly constant, weight can be calculated with Newton's second law here, the force of gravity equals mg, or weight is just mg. Near the surface of the Earth, g is 9.8 meters per second squared downwards, one of the most important constants we have in physics. An object at rest must have no net force on it. If it did have a net force, it would have an acceleration and it would move. So if it's sitting on a table like this vase, the force of gravity is still there. But additionally, what other force is there so the vase doesn't move? What is the other force? The force exerted perpendicular to a surface is called the normal force. The normal force is exactly as large as needed to balance the force from the object. If the required force gets too big, something breaks. But that's kind of wild, right? If you just put a, a quarter here, it has one normal force, which just balances the mass or the weight of the quarter. And if you put a big block of steel here, the table exerts a greater normal force than it does on the quarter. It exactly balances the weight of this big steel block. Now, of course, if you put something gigantic on this, then the table's going to break and all bets are off. Good way to remember normal. The words normal and perpendicular are synonyms. They mean the same thing in physics. Example one, find the weight of a 2,000 kilogram elephant. We list our givens right here. We have mass and we have g and the weight is just mg. So it's 2,000 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared and we get 19,600 newtons. Remember please, weight is in newtons. A car weighs 14,500 newtons. What is its mass? We write our givens here. Here's the weight in newtons and here's g. Here's our weight equation. We need to find m, so we need to divide both sides of the equation by g. And then we put in the weight in the numerator, g in the denominator, and we get 1,480 kilograms. A book of mass 0.85 kilograms sits on a bookshelf. What is the magnitude and direction of the normal force that acts on the book? We have our givens over here. Here's the mass of the book and the value of g. Now the normal force is in the opposite direction of gravity and is equal in magnitude to the force that the book exerts on the shelf. The force that the book exerts on the shelf is equal to its weight. So we have the normal force is equal to the weight. Normal, therefore, is just mg. So we put in our m, put in our g, and we find a force of 8.3 newtons, and the direction, it's in the up direction supporting the book.